We have to pick up that side quest over there. And then I want to head back to the hideaway just to see if there, one, is uh, if I can replenish all of my healing items and stuff, but also so that I can uh, check for any more hunts. Because I would like to make Goddardamarung if I can. Um, but I don't know if that's going to be possible. I'm not sure. Yo, what? Who's up there? Wow, that trigger was really adaptive. That was hard to push. You were right, Joshua. All right. Uh, okay, we have Odin now. This seems helpful. Want to? I want to check something. This is something I wasn't sure if I could do. I think I might have discovered this at some point, but um, I wanted to actually look here. Can I assign? I can't. Okay, so I can't assign skills from enemies that are not enemies, uh, aspects I'm not wearing. All right, so that's useless. Uh, so, in that sense, then, we should probably... Uh, I've been wanting to do this for a while. Limit break mastered. Definitely want, like, all of these. Uh, don't care about that. You care about this. Do you care about this? Absolutely care about this. Ignition, we want because we use it. Don't care about Will of the Likes anymore. All right, uh, let's only upgrade things we're gonna use because I wanna have mastered abilities, basically. Flames don't care about, heat wave don't care about, flame to rebirth we want. Gouge we want. Definitely want deadly embrace leveled up. Don't care about wicked wheel. Don't care about aerial blast. Don't care about gouge and then titan. Mechanic block we want. Definitely want that. All right, that's all leveled up. I think I want to level up Aerial Blast first and foremost. Flames of Rebirth next. All right, hey. All right, so we, we made some optimizations. We have more points than we had before. We have basically everything we used before fully leveled up. This Rift Slip seems useful. Use to recover immediately from any ability or action, but I can't use it unless I'm equipped with Arm of Darkness, and that's, I don't know if that's really worth it. Ignition. Flames of Rebirth. Gouge. Aerial Blast. Wind up. Earth and Fury. Look at that. All right. Let's see.
Increase ability points earned. Increases gill earned. It's experience earned. Not super necessary. Healing potency of high potions for 25% is probably really useful. Man, we have so many of these things and we just don't use them. A lot of these cooldown enhancement things are just like, whatever. Next medallion. Increases the potency of healing potions by 40%. That's also pretty good. Increases burning blade damage by 7%. Actually, yeah, we'll probably use that. Um, because we use that a lot. And then Raging Fists one. I don't think we actually need that. <coughs> Increases the will damage of magic by 10%. Absolutely. All right, we're doing stagger. We're doing damage now too, which is good. Bodies up ahead. Is there no peace for a dying man? What happened here? The ether floods made savage beasts of my companions. And those faithless orcs, I knew they weren't to be trusted. We were told that they would stay loyal to our cause. Nope. Something commanded their loyalty. But it was not us. It's a wonder they stayed faithful for so long. Perhaps they sensed our downfall. The king is gone. Our nation in ruins. <laughs> what becomes of us loyal pawns now? Sworn to a shattered throne. What Fuck do you think the outcome was going to be? <clears throat> Dead king and his god. <clears throat> Fuck this withered shithole. <sighs> the floods do not affect you. You are a bearer, albeit one who's lost his brand. Pray, hear me, brother. Will you grant this pawn his final wish? <clears throat> Will you lay my dying soul to rest? Of course. What do you need? Uh, finally, some luck. Beyond the castle walls, towards stone here, there is a forest. Never turn. My parents are buried upon the bluff, nestled amongst the trees. Theirs was the only love I ever knew. I was torn from them in life, but perhaps... I can return to them in death. Take my ring. See that it rests beside their bones. May you find peace at last. Bury the ring at the grave of the soldier's parents. Okay. It'd be easy. It's not too far away. Don't tell me. The only way to the capital... <clears throat> ...is through that gate. Just as you surmise. There's an army down there, Joshua. Yes. But I don't see any dominance. That's because there aren't any. You dingus. I could have told you that. Come on. Yeah! Not 
we have to slay the enemies. Approach. Joshua, can you go on? Do I have a choice? Okay.
Okay. Ooh, we had to burn through our potions for that. That was terrifying. Uh, that's good that I beat that because if that attack had hit me, I would have been dead. I wouldn't have been able to heal myself. I guess I could have paused and used an elixir, but that's a horrible waste. We can rest here if you like. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I know he's got the coughs. He's doomed. Look, Clive. By the founder, the place is a fortress. Is that an obelisk down there? Because that's what it looks like. And if it is, then we are going to fast track our Ready way goes? there. Run like the wind. And then run back to the hideaway so that we can. Uh, very quickly. Wow, frame rate. Thanks. A little rough. No oh, villages. No knights. Not even any bodies. One could almost believe the whole kingdom had turned to Kashek. That's what it seemed like. It's almost as if the developers forgot to finish this area. Straight home now. All right. Uh, let's see. Open world map. Very quickly head back to the hideout because I also want to check on hunts. All right. First things first. Let's go check on hunts. Look at that, there's more of them. Okay, wow, there's just a whole lot. It just dumped a whole lot of them on us. Pandemonium, those few souls were able to escape from Ash before the skies change all of Pandemonium. Change Telepandemonium, the king of the orcs, who led his fellow beastmen in revolt against the Baluda rule. Though his rebellion was swiftly crushed by King Barnabas's armies. Many of the orcs who now roam the twins, stating their appetite for human flesh, bear his markings, suggesting they still command such forces today. Ubermoosh. A rogue goblin has been sighted several times in the abandoned village of Eastla, presumably drawn by the stores left behind when the villagers departed for reverie. The said villagers will not be returning. We will surely seek to reclaim the village for mankind once it's all over. I ghoul. Divine. Among the divers be. Diverse. It says divers, but meant to be diverse. Peace that make their home in Walud. Many. There are many that seem not to be a creation of nature, but some malign god. By Ghoul is one of these creatures, a cat that it takes almost perverse delight in hunting down a few survivors uh, of the human race that yet survive on the far continent. Agni. Band of Cursebreakers. So these are all Walud enemies. Blood Moon. Usher to the Underworld. In Sambrek and Dalmechia. Okay. Ah, sorry, I'm hiccuping now. Okay, well... We'll definitely need to do a bunch of these, so may as well, I guess. That seems fine. Okay. Well, all of them are in Walud, so we'll want to go back there. But first things first, we absolutely have to grab potions and stuff. I'm gonna probably bang out a few of these. I bet that S rank one probably gives rare materials that we need for God or Damarung. Purse weighing you down. 
It'd better all be here. You'll not find a better price than that. You're rubbing me blind, you know. You'll not find a better price than that. Trouble with your gear, or...? Ask about Dravaged. The sound will ring in still. It's filled the seat to Dravaz, uh, Dravaged since back before anyone can remember. There's not a smith worth his salt who didn't apprentice under one of the village masters. Me and Zoltan worked on old Vulcan's foundry till our lungs burned and our skin turned black, but we were happy. So we weren't. No, we weren't. Things change, people change, and we can either change with them or we can stay stuck in the past. Me and my old mate, we've chosen to put our past behind us so that Dravaj can have a future. A future where young smiths can be proud of work done well and work done right, just Very like nice. here. Maybe someday my apprentice will be someone else's master and work them just as hard as I do him. So, what it be? Ever dark. I have over 1,500 sharp fangs. This game is unbelievable. <laughs> It'd last you a good while. That it? Fine. All right. I guess it's just back to a lewd. Isla. All right, we got to fight Goobermoosh or whatever his name is. Where, where would it be? It's in East Law. It's probably over here, right? So those are the only areas we didn't have to go to during the fight. And it wasn't here when we left, and presumably the marks just sort of spawn the second they become available, so... Look up here. Thus the raven. Up here? No? Oh, yes. Okay. Uber moosh. Is it gonna be like a jokey one where I kill it in two hits? Nope. How the hell did it cross this drain? Okay, he can do damage. Too slow. And he doesn't have a stagger bar. He's just a regular enemy that can't be staggered. So there's no point in doing anything other than just. Laying out DPS on this guy.
thought that like one of the hardest just random enemy encounters in the game would just be a regular enemy that can't be staggered. Like that's like his only thing was that he just he can't be staggered. <laughs> that's what makes him hard because he can just tank through everything you do. Primitive battle horn. Uh, as goblin communication seems limited to a painful cacophony of throaty grunts and raspy wheezing, the beastmen will often employ carved horns such as this one to send messages over long distances. Your journey ends here. <sighs> you were right. Please boy. level up, Torgal. There's anything along the way here. <laughs> oh, wait, is that the? I think this is one of them. Yep. It's just a curl, but uh, with bigger damage, I guess. You would think that maybe they would have more varieties of enemies that don't just have the same moveset, but... Yeah, it's just a curl that can tank through more of my hits. Now, Torgal, go! Torgal, now! Kill! That's all you hear over and over again. <laughs> Let's hope it was the last of its kind. Alright. Um, I guess we need to go to drop off this side quest. Sure, 
feel like there were there were what two others in Walud. I think. Sounds right. He loves at last. Alrighty, that's good. Here lie buried ye bodies of Knut and beloved wife Brida, who uh, departed this life in ye twenty fourth year of reverie. Interesting. It's not ye, though. I believe that's a thorn, so it's meant to be the. Like, whenever you see, like, the old, ye old country shop, it's actually meant to be the. It's written with a thorn. Um, Scathfar. Angry Gap. Rick Maul's Roost. I don't remember... I don't remember where the other two in Walud were named. That's interesting. There's probably stuff down there. Uh, Edge of Infinity is going to be... Where are we? We're all the way over here. Okay. What is the Edge of Infinity then? Oh, is this the... Why can I travel there? That's interesting. Um, let's go back here really quick and just check. Because we have a ways to go anyway before we get to the edge of that area, so Come on. I just want to scan for hunts. Faster. The game isn't particularly sneaky about where it hides them, because they're usually just in, like, battle arena-shaped... <laughs> areas uh especially uh when you like unlock them after going somewhere it's usually in areas that you've been already that are not particularly uh hidden i'm guessing that it's just right up here somewhere i will probably need a lot of my healing uh, for some of these because i know they're a and s rank hunts so Yeah, this is an area I just, like, never went to, so... At least I don't think I did. I don't know. Maybe it's over here? Yeah. Oh no! Orc guy! <clears throat> this is kind of cool, though. Pandemonium. I wonder what we get for killing you. Oh look. It's the king of the castle. Oh, it's just this move set again. What? That didn't let me dodge? Oh, 
Oh, oops. I was holding a square. for that holy smokes uh, Beat him. We're gonna need to go back to the uh, the old hunt board and see where the others are. But I don't know. Stained loincloth. I know some people that would like that. All right. Modesty is not a trait that comes to mind when one thinks of an orc. So it is a mystery why they bother to wear a loincloth cloth at all when the thin strips of cloth only afford nominal protection and leave not to the imagination. There are some scholars, however, who argue that they are vestiges from the creatures are more civilized and serve as proof of the devolution of the species. Your reign is at an end. Oh, I bet. I bet there are people that want to sniff that that musky loincloth. That'll go for a crazy amount of money on eBay. 